Today we will be discussing an example regarding quadratic equations from the 73rd verse of the Leelavati of Bhaskaracharya. So the verse goes as follows. Bale marala kula mula dalani sapta tire vilasa bhara manthara ganya pasyam kurvacha keli kalaham kalaham sa yukmam shesham jale vada marala kula pramanam. So what it means is that there was a flock of swans on a lakeside. Seven times half the square root of the number of swans were moving about by the lake. One amorous couple was playing in the water. How many swans were there? So from this, we can get the equation, the quadratic equation of the example, which is as follows. Total number of swans is equal to number of swans moving about the lake plus one pair of swans inside the lake. So we can take total number of swans as x square. And if we take total number of swans as x square, the number of swans moving about the lake will become 7 upon 2 into x. So our equation will be as follows. Now let us move this 7 upon 2x onto the left side of the equation. So now what we do is the first step of solving the quadratic equation, which is adding b square upon 4 to both sides of the equation. So let us do that. Now in this equation, the LHS can be written in this form, which is nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square. So that is nothing but a minus b the whole square and the right hand side can be written as 9 upon 4 the whole square. After taking the LCM, we get 81 upon 16 and that is nothing but 9 upon 4 the whole square. So let us substitute both these values in the equation. This is what we get. So now we move to the second step, step 2. Step 2 is to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So when we take the square root of both sides of the equation, this is what we get. Now step 3. Add or subtract b upon 2 from both sides of the equation as the case may be. Now in this case, it is x minus 7 upon 4. So b upon 2 is 7 upon 4 in this case. And on the left hand side, it is x minus 7 upon 4. So in order to eliminate this minus 7 upon 4 from the left hand side of the equation, we add 7 upon 4 in this case. So let us add b by 2 or 7 upon 4 on both sides of the equation. This is what we get. So we get x is equal to 9 upon 4 plus 7 upon 4. So that can be written as x is equal to 16 upon 4, which is 4. Now we need to find x square, not x. So we have the value of x, but we need x square. So the last and final step will be to square this result to obtain x square. x square is 16. So we can conclude that there were 16 swans. Thank you.